Hi guys, Ken here from Backpack and Light, and today I want to talk about the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor. Now I've done a video earlier, and that was of the original Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor, and this one I've used for probably around 1500 kilometers or so on several different trips over a couple of years, and I absolutely love this backpack. I think it's uh, one of the best mid-range uh, backpacks that you can buy on the market at 1.1 kilos for a 40 to 60 liter backpack. Uh, phenomenal support system. Uh, you can carry anything from 5 kilos to 30 kilos relatively comfortable on this backpack. I haven't tested the actual 40 to 60 version of the new updated backpack. I haven't really seen it as very uh, necessary as it's the exact same thing in every possible way. The only changes they've made is they now have two bottle holders. So on the older pack you had one, on the newer pack you now have two and I'll show that. Uh, and they changed the coloring system on these. Uh, now they've got black and white, or as they like to call it, peat and birch. I have the black versions myself. Uh, but I have been using the 60 to 75 liter, which is one of the big changes they made, is they've added two new sizings to it, which is the 25 to 40 liter pack and the 60 to 75 liter pack. I personally use the 60 to 75 quite a bit now during the winter as I just really like the carrying system on the capacitor and in the winter I kind of like the design and prefer the design of these to a roll top in the winter just because it gives me a bigger access to both put stuff in and I can kind of pack things into a kind of a uh, you know, square-ish, I guess. So I even have like my backpacking stove, the tent, uh, tent stove, and uh, you know, everything that I need for a winter camp, I have it in my 60 to 75. Now this is the 40 to 60 liter, and I just kind of want to show the difference of this one compared to the older one. And as I said, they haven't really done a lot of changes, that, and they, they probably didn't need to as uh, they are just phenomenal backpacks and they're very well designed from the beginning so they don't really have to do too much uh, and make too many changes to an already fantastic backpack. Oh, just some coffee. Yeah. So what you'll see, I mean for me the biggest difference they've done besides the different sizing and the coloring is the extra uh, pocket here which is great. Uh, it wasn't something I felt that I was missing. Um, it's, you know, it, it's nice to have, but I usually have like a camera or something on one of the sides here. So that's probably not gonna be used anyway. Uh, but I really like the bottle holder on there and a lot of backpacks are making that now, but uh, it's still relatively unique on the more mainstream backpacks. The carrying system is the same and the weight is the same, 1.1 kilos with a lot of breathing capacity uh, on the back panel here. And it's still one of my preferred backpacks even after, you know, four years or three years maybe that I've been using it. Uh, it's not the lightest pack, but if I'm going to do any distance hiking where I have to carry more weight and so on or you know let's say I'm going hunting whatever I decide I want to do and I need to bring that extra weight then I do find that the uh, flex capacitor is hard to beat as far as weight uh, capacity and carrying capabilities a lot of people they have an issue with it not being a mesh here. Now on the updated version that's actually something I can show you is that they've now made it possible to use the hydration pocket this one here that you get with the backpack so you can easily take that hydration pocket out now that was 1.1 kilos with the hydration pocket and I don't know that 
have my little scale here, so I'll tell you exactly how much that weighs. 43 grams. So, and you can turn that into an external pocket on your pack. So that's a difference that they've made. You get kind of used to having a backpack that doesn't have a mesh pocket, and then you figure out that it's actually quite good to just hang stuff from the straps here, and you get that same drying effect that you would get as having stuff in your mesh. So the other features, of course, is with the flex capacitor, this is in 40 liter mode. Now, if you need a 60 liter pack, and you just, hope that's not scraping. All right. So as you can see, I've opened that up now, and now I've got a 60 liter pack without increasing the overall height of the pack. And you wouldn't think that makes a big difference. And it doesn't on the lighter weight. If you're only carrying, say, 10 kilos, it's not a massive difference. But let's say you want to start filling it up. For example, fishing, hunting, or a longer trip where you need to have that food with you. Then that balance of it going outwards instead of upwards actually makes a pretty big difference when you're scaling, you know, small creeks and so on. And you kind of got to jump and you got to push the bag really tight to your body. I find that that does actually make a relatively big difference on uh, if you're carrying a bigger weight. There's no backpack that really compares to this backpack as far as weight and carrying capabilities and balance and the overall capacity and straps that you get with the pack. For example, the two pockets that they've now changed, these big hip belt pockets that are actually uh, noticeable just by how big they are and then you got these big pockets the outer side pockets and if I can so this tent is the lit six moon designs lunar solo packed of course and I'll go ahead and put that in the side pocket because some people like to put their tents there and you can see that fits quite nicely on the side there uh, it's also got this big pocket on top of the lid. Yeah, I mean, I use that quite a bit to have my spoon and my, uh, you know, utensils and first aid kit. I'll keep there so I can get to it fast, those kind of things. So these are relatively easy to dial in. You have just this one strap here on each side. Put it right there at your hips and draw. And the same thing here. Oh, let's see if that's hitting my microphone. But. So there you have it. Just a excellent fitting backpack. And you can see how that gives me lots of breathable air. Maybe you can't because I got all my back fat there that's kind of blocking the view. But and it just forms phenomenal to the body. I really like I just overall it's still one of my go-to backpacks uh, to be honest on most hikes. I just like the overall feel of it.